Imagine a life where you never have to worry about money. A life where you always have enough to take care of your needs and your family. Sounds like a dream, right? But what if I told you there's one simple thing you can do to make this a reality? Something that Allah himself has promised will bring you wealth. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Allah has said, O son of Adam, spend in charity and I shall spend on you. This is a direct promise from Allah. If we give, if we are generous, Allah guarantees that he will spend on us. This is the secret to true wealth, and it's much simpler than you think. Too often, we, we believe that holding on to all our money is the way to become rich. We fear that if we give away our money, we will have less. But Islam teaches us something different. The real path to wealth is through giving. When we give, we are not losing. We are actually gaining. Allah is the provider, and he promises that he will take care of us. Giving charity is simple and rewarding. You don't need to give a lot. Even small, consistent acts of charity are beloved to Allah. Whether it's helping someone in need, sharing your knowledge, or even just offering a smile, every act of kindness counts. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, every act of kindness is charity. Charity brings barakah, a blessing that makes what you have more than enough. It's not just about having more. It's about feeling satisfied, peaceful, and content with what you have. This is the beauty of Allah's promise. When we give, we open the doors for barakah in our lives, making our wealth more blessed, more fulfilling, and more beneficial. Now let's talk about something very important. Uh, in our busy lives, we often feel we don't have time for ibadah, worship, or even for giving charity. We think we need to work more to earn more money, to take care of our families, and to be successful. Uh, but the truth is, when we neglect our ibadah and focus only on this world, Allah can make our lives even busier and more stressful. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, warned us, saying that if we make time for Allah, Allah will make time for us. But if we neglect him, we will find ourselves caught up in endless tasks and worries. Many of us are caught in this cycle. We think that by working more and more, we will become wealthier. But in reality, when we ignore our spiritual duties, our lives become more chaotic, and no matter how much we earn, it never feels like enough. Allah says in the Quran, And whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed, he will have a depressed life, and we will gather him on the day of resurrection blind. Quran Surah 2124. This is a reminder that without Allah's blessings, our efforts will bring us no real satisfaction or peace. Allah also promises in Surah Al-Baqarah, the example of those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah is like a grain of corn that sprouts seven ears. In every ear there are a hundred grains. Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, 261. Furthermore, Allah says in Surah Al-Isra, and whatever you spend in good, it will be fully repaid to you, and you will not be wronged. Quran, Surah Al-Isra, 17, 7. Um, these verses highlight the immense reward and blessings that come from giving in charity and the importance of seeking Allah's pleasure. If we keep ourselves busy and do not make time for ibadah, Allah can make our work more complicated and our lives more disorganized. We might think that by working nonstop, we are increasing our wealth. But in truth, without Allah's blessings, our efforts can lead to more stress and even poverty. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said that if we forget Allah in our pursuit of wealth, Allah will fill our hands with problems and poverty. This is a cycle that can leave us feeling empty, despite all our hard work. The real success is in making time for Allah. When we make time for ibadah, for prayer, and for giving charity, Allah makes our lives easier. He puts barakah in our time, our wealth, and our efforts. What may seem like a small effort to us can bring enormous rewards and make our lives smoother and more fulfilled. Remember, Allah's promise is true. He is Al-Razak, the provider. When we give, we are not losing. We are investing in a source of wealth that never runs dry. So start today. Give what you can, no matter how small. Do it with a sincere heart, seeking Allah's pleasure and trust in His promise. Watch as your life fills with blessings, peace, and true wealth. May Allah bless you with abundance, peace, and contentment. Remember, giving is not just about helping others, it's about helping yourself too. So take the first step today. Start giving and see how Allah transforms your life. This video highlights the importance of charity and time for worship, emphasizing that true wealth 
comes from Allah's blessings and the practice of giving rather than merely accumulating wealth through worldly means. If you found this message helpful, please like this video, share it with others, and subscribe for more inspiring content. Let's spread the message of generosity and gain rewards together.